join. So recording started. Um, so hopefully you can see the slide that I'm sharing or the, the screen I'm sharing. Oh, yeah, Jacopo joined as well. Uh, good morning. Good morning. How are you? Cool. Thank you. Cool. Yeah, we're just getting started. So uh, let me know if you have any issues seeing my my uh, my slides. Uh, but uh, didn't have as much time to prepare for this meeting because I just got back uh, to work yesterday. But wanted to talk about a couple of things. I mean, one is I think I mentioned this in the past and also talked about this in New Orleans that uh, Georgia were uh, contribute. Uh, one is on improving the diversity of our regular contributors. Uh, and then there are some follow-up items regarding core team discussion we had in, in the June meeting. Uh, so a couple of quick updates. And uh, I mean, thank you, George, for opening an issue on enabling popovers. We'll quickly talk about that. I don't think Takuya is on yet. And then um, I think there was another, yeah, there was another issue on community metrics that we used to have before when we had a quality dashboard. Um, so those are sort of the planned topics. Uh, uh, was there anything else that you, uh, anyone want to cover? Or, yeah, or, I mean, feel free to bring them up towards the end. And then if you have time, we can certainly go over them. Mm -hmm. um, so moving on to uh, the diversity slide on slide three. Uh, I, I think I brought this up a couple of months ago when I started a list of top contributors in 2018. Uh, so if you see that list, uh, let me go there right now. There are like 34 or 35 top contributors. Like we, put, I put them in three tiers. And I mean, even when I first created the list, uh, I realized, I mean, there are no, I mean, no women here on this list, which was, pretty concerning. I mean, there's there's a lot of uh, different ways of looking at diversity. I mean, I think geographically, culturally, we have, you know, different parts of the world, like a pretty well represented from our contributors and even among core team members. Uh, I mean, we have people in, in the US, Europe, I mean, the Far East and in and, and Japan. Uh, so I think geographically and culturally, we were, were not bad. Um, but not having any female contributors in the regular list of contributors so was definitely concerning. Uh, so out of the 34, 35, we had, I mean, zero female. Uh, that's obviously not, not a good thing. Um, and I was also looking at the list earlier today for 2019. So this is sort of the Biturgia query that I just ran. Um, you can look at this at your leisure. I mean, I looked at all the... MRs from the community that got merged between January till till the end of the year. Uh, so if you look at the list of people here, um, uh, you know, if you look at the top 30, I believe there's only one female, like Katrine, like who I'll be featuring on the blog. Uh, hopefully it'll go out in the next week or so. Uh, so we're doing, you know, slightly better, but not by a whole lot. So that's, uh, that's pretty concerning. Um, so I did reach out to a couple of other people outside of GitLab that I worked with previously uh, that are, you know, very community minded and uh, they also have a lot of experience in diversity issues. And I started, you know, collecting some of the feedback, including starting with the main contribute page. Um, I mean, you probably noticed that we've gone through redesign of the main contribute page to make it more digestible and easier to read. Um, but they, you know, one of the persons that I talked to, she actually pointed out there are a couple of things that a couple of like a minor wording changes that I can make uh, to make it more inclusive and, and uh, make everyone feel welcome to contribute. So I made like a couple of changes there and also wanted to, you know, I've been doing this regular blog series of uh, featuring uh, regular contributors, including some of the core team members. But I wanted to find a female contributor to start highlighting. And I, I think I identified a couple and, and Katrina actually got back to me. So she'll be featured on the blog like this month. Uh, so I've been trying to do like, uh, you know, a couple of things to, to address the issue and highlight uh, some of the female contributors that we have and, and make people feel more welcome. Um, but I also wanted to have a discussion with, with you all on, I mean, other, like other things that I should be looking at, um, uh, 
you know, I, I think a number of you also contribute to other open source communities. So this is a pretty, um, you know, popular topic amongst, you know, different communities about, you know, making everyone feel welcome to, to contribute and join. Uh, so I wanted to see if you have other, other ideas. I, I jotted down a couple of other bullet points about, you know, are there conferences and events that I should be looking at that's focused on diversity and inclusion and are there out, other outreach efforts that, that, you know, somebody like me and David should, should, should really consider. Um, so, uh, I mean, I'll, I'll just kind of pause there and see, you know, if you guys have any ideas or thoughts on, on what I should be looking at or, or um, uh, if you have any observations. Um, I don't know. I, I, what I know is that it's yeah. a kind of a common issue having less mm -hmm. female as developers, at least, mm -hmm. is a common mm -hmm. issue that we overall have. Also, uh, I don't know. I know there is the Rails Girl event, which is a uh, event based on um, introducing uh, rails to girls mm -hmm. which could be something we could take into consideration but nothing that comes in my mind right now to suggest you <laughs> nothing more <laughs> at least no I mean, did you say yeah but did you say there was i i not sure did you mention like an event that that like that we should be looking at or uh, uh yeah uh hold on yeah I mean, you can also write that down in the notes. Uh, like I forgot. Yeah, well, I, will, yeah. I, will, I will. Yeah, that will be great. Let me make sure that people know where the notes are so people can uh, write stuff and help me with note taking. But yeah, if there are other events, um, I mean, there we actually within GitLab, uh, I think the first meeting is tomorrow. Uh, there is a meeting on diversity and inclusion uh, that I think that's kicking off tomorrow, which I'll be joining. Uh, so I assume, you know, one of the discussion will be around events. Um, I mean, not just in terms of like contributors, but also in terms of like hiring other other events that like any events that we should be looking at. Um, so yeah, if you have um, like like meetups or events that that we should be looking, at. yeah, real girls, that's that's a good idea. Uh, uh, you know, maybe. That's sort of the channel that we should reach out to. That definitely makes sense. But okay, maybe George, as well, yeah, go maybe ahead. As well, uh, reach out uh, on the social media on to the Twitter account. Maybe reach yeah. out for uh, diverse people. Right. Yeah, I mean, there are probably maybe some social like outreach or campaigns that we should think about. I mean, I'll try to bring that up in, in the meeting tomorrow. Um, you know, maybe when I, you know, advertise like like events like a hackathon, maybe I should use like a specific candles to to get the awareness out. Um, Yeah, if you like, you notice a like an interesting campaign from different open source communities. I mean, mm -hmm. I mean, do let me know or forward them on to me uh, if you see any good examples. But yeah, I mean, I don't necessarily have a numerical target per se, but I mean, I I definitely want to have more than like a couple of like uh you know female developers that's that's on the list of like regular contributors for 2019 um so i mean i was hoping to see more improvement like besides like one person but you know hopefully we'll see more uh going forward but cool All right uh and vitali did you have any comments or or question, I wasn't sure if you wanted to say something or not, but. Well, you know, uh, it's, it's quite a bit uh, unusual uh, situation for me because here in Russia, we don't have any special uh, things to do 
to bring more uh, females to <laughs> develop anything because <laughs> if they uh, want or if they uh, can develop they just can uh, come themselves and mm -hmm. we don't have to bring them explicitly so i don't even know what uh, what we should uh, do here okay so, okay no i mean that that's fair yeah i mean that's it's especially in the us i i, I don't know about other countries it's it's becoming a uh uh, I mean, not just open source, like even like a tech industry in general, there's been concerned about like a lack of uh, diversity in, in general, like especially like where I live in Silicon Valley. So it's been a hot topic. Uh, but yeah, I can certainly understand that's not always the case in, in all the places. But cool. All right. Yeah. So but I mean, hopefully if you run across something or if you have any, any ideas, please, I mean, please feel free to ping me or just mention them on the core team channel. Um, but I mean, obviously all ideas are welcome to, to um, help make our community a more, more, more inclusive and diverse one. So, so I'll just move on to the next topic if there's nothing else. Um, so core team discussion follow-ups. Uh, I mean, we had some good discussion um, uh, in June, uh, I mean, a couple of the couple of these things are already done. Uh, we updated the mission uh, so that I mean, we're not focused only on code and development. Uh, the the MR has been merged, and if you see the new core team page, uh, that's all reflected. It, it it specifically spells out other contributions people can make in terms of providing. Uh, community support online uh, on on things like forums and you know helping with documentation and translation. So we made that more explicit. Uh, so happy to see that. Uh, I think uh, Takuya had some questions or concern, but he's not here. So maybe I'll uh, follow up with uh, him again. And he had an issue open, and I think he pinged me and and you you as well, George. Uh, but maybe we can follow up through through that issue. So, uh, so there's a new handbook page that that was created uh, for the core team, I and mean, this is something that we talked about in, at the contribute event a couple of months ago. Uh, so it's finally there, and I also just uh, created another MR to to with some minor updates on onboarding and offboarding. Uh, I forgot to mention that, like, I mean, for somebody like me, I should create an onboarding and offboarding issue if, what, if when somebody joins a core team or somebody steps down. So it's, it's sort of a minor change. Uh, so feel free to take a look at that MR and uh, if you have any suggestions or feedback, um, and if you can let me know by end of the week, that would be great. Um, uh, otherwise, we'll uh, I'll ask somebody to uh, sort of uh, do a merge if there are no concerns. And oh, I, I forgot to mention uh, be, at the beginning of the call, uh, I mean, David uh, is not on call uh, today because he uh, started his uh, 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 paternity leave uh, on, as of July 5th. So, I mean, I don't know if uh, the baby's arrived yet, but he's taken a month off to take care of things while while his uh, baby boy arrives so hopefully things are well but he should be back by august 5th so that's why he's not on the call then uh, you probably won't see him online for for a few more weeks um but uh yeah normally i would be asking david to merge it but i'll i'll find somebody else with the merge rights but if you have any feedback on that mr uh please let me know it's it's pretty minor um and the last item, uh, I guess, George, I'll let you sort of talk about this. But I'm not sure what's going on here. Uh, popovers on the core team page. Let me try to find the, the issue there. Maybe the link is incorrect. Uh, and it's on the, the, the www.gitlab.com. Oh, uh, OK. Maybe that's a problem. Huh. No, the, the group is missing, I think, so, and the issues. Oh, okay. um, yeah, let me go to GitLab.com and then it'll be easy. Yeah. 
it should say it's from you, right, George? Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. Oops. It wanted to complete because I'm not part of the group. So just hitting enter would do it. Yeah. Yep. All right. So, yeah, I mean, this is, a, uh, we thought this was going to be a pretty simple change. Uh, I mean, basically, if you go to the team page, you basically have a popover feature. If you hover over people, you see people's bio, wanted to replicate that uh, for the core team. And it sounds like, George, technically, it's pretty relatively simple to do, but I think uh, Takuya may have had concerns. But yeah, I'll, I'll let you. Mm -hmm. Uh, explain the issue. Yeah, I, I added the issue not to lose track here. Uh, yeah. It's just the popovers. Uh, I think you've yeah. seen on the company team page where the core teams are already included. When right. you click on the profile picture, you get the popover with uh, some uh, short bio brief, let's say. Uh, so we're using the same uh, YAML uh, data file. And right. uh, on the core team page, also in the alumni, I forgot to mention in the issue, is uh, yeah. it's missing the popover. So it would right. be nice to have this popover for uh, uh, when we point con con new contributors to the core team just to learn a bit more about the core team members. Right. Um, so we quickly redesigned the core team lately and the alumni page. Mm -hmm. So we skip to add the popover. Uh, it's mostly some JavaScript and uh, some semantics missing. I just pinged the Yarek on the issue just to make sure this is in the right direction. Mm -hmm. uh, it could be easily replicated. Uh, it's using, I think, uh, three partials uh, to make this uh, visible on the co company team page. So uh, re replicating the structure of the company fragments uh, would be okay. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, Takuya also had uh, some other ideas about, uh, uh, I don't know, not using the popover. Uh, I think yeah. it would be fine. Personally, I think it's uh, a nice mm. step forward. All right. Yeah. So, yeah, if you want to, uh, I guess, yeah, he hasn't responded in about a week. So maybe in a day or two, George, if you want to follow up with Takuya on the issue. Uh, I mean, I, I mean, I understand like the PostgreSQL, uh, but I mean, this is a completely different format, mm -hmm. right? I mean, it talks about like their contributions and we can add the contribution information in people's bios. Uh, I mean, bios were, I mean, it wasn't written even by me or it, it's written by each of the core team members. Mm -hmm. uh, so if they want to add their contribution information to core team, I think that's a good idea. But I mean, this format is like completely different. And I mean, I think the purpose of uh, the redesign was to make it look like a, like our uh, GitLab team page. Um, so, yeah, hopefully, like, I mean, if if Takia doesn't respond in a day or two, George, I, I yeah, if you can ping him again, and I, I'd be happy to do that as well, and mm -hmm. and see if there are any other concerns. But, yeah, let's wait a bit, uh, or yeah. maybe they can open a merge request and then discuss this. Uh, yeah, merge. yeah, maybe that that's probably a better better way to do it, and. Uh, just uh, want to make sure that we're going to the right direction where everyone agrees right, this is okay. Right. So. right. Um, Jakob, or v Jakob or Vitaly, do you have any like a comments or, or concerns on this? Or, or I'm all about uh, the consistency. So if we have these pop powers on the team page, why don't we have these on the core team page? So right. I'd like to just edit and it's, it's done. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Cool. I think it would be nice. I mean, we we originally redesigned this according to the component page, so having the popover sounds uh, fine to me too. It's uh, you know it's based on middleman, so if yeah. anyone can uh, jump in and. Uh, Add any hint on the merge request or the or the issue that would be okay too. Yep. Cool. Okay. Yeah, just getting caught up on notes, which I'll clean up mm -hmm. after the call. But uh, cool. All right. So thank you for that, George. Uh,
let me move over to uh, metrics. And there was another issue on, thank you, George, on, on, on um, sort of reviving some of the old metrics that we used to have. Uh, I think this was, these are part of the quality uh, dashboard, which doesn't exist anymore. Um, basically, uh, showing all community MRs, but exclude the core team, right? Or just separate them, like, you know, in a chart show the core team versus like non-core team members. Uh, and also show uh, community MRs uh, versus like all MRs, like ratio. Uh, I mean, I wrote down both of these should be possible. I mean, we're, I don't think we can get exactly the same um, uh, type of graph or, or data that's that's available on, on, on the chart. Uh, but I, let me show, oh, sorry. I think here's an example that I think either David or, or I were playing around with this. So this basically shows, I mean, just for milestones like 11.0 11, uh, 11, 11 to 11.11, .11, uh, we're experimenting with something. So basically, uh, the purple bar shows like everyone, uh, GitLab team members and wider community. And then the, the green uh, shaded one just shows uh, the wider community members only. Uh, so basically you see the, like the comparison between the community versus uh, like everyone, including the wider community and GitLab team members. Uh, I think if I remember correctly, the quality dashboard showed you like it had like percentages or like showed ratios and numbers, right? I don't think that's possible in, in Petrugia uh, to add like numbers at, as like legends. Uh, but something like along this line is, is certainly possible. I mean, we can extend this to other milestones, but this is an, a, an example of what we can do. Um, and uh, we can probably do something similar for like the one color shows like the core team members and the other color shows like a, the rest of the wider community uh, per each of the milestone as, as an example. Uh, that's, I mean, I, I'll, have to play around with it but it's certainly something that could be doable we won't have like you'll probably have to like uh, uh, calculate the numbers like yourself or just hover over to to compare the numbers uh, so it's not going to be as nice as what we had uh, almost like in the google sheet uh, with the quality dashboard but that's an option um, so i mean what i was going to suggest was that i could create a couple of uh, mock-ups in, in Biturgia and, and get people's feedback and it could possibly be a starting point, but. George, what are your thoughts on that? Like, yeah, I think that would be great. I mean, uh, I don't mind the, the, the layout difference without the numbers on top or something like that, but yeah. uh, uh, getting that information, I think it would be really useful. Uh, I really miss right. the, the authors per milestone page where you could see the top community contributors per release mm -hmm. and uh, specifically those two metrics that i mentioned in the issue the mm -hmm. community mass excluding core team and the community mass with all ratio uh, that could help i think also biteria supports uh, creating dashboards right maybe we could create yeah. a, i'm not i haven't used it much but uh, create some yeah. dashboards Right. I mean, so these are just visualization. I can add them to the dashboards. Um, so that's something that we could certainly do. Uh, I mean, I can even add them to like existing dashboards like this. Uh, I could add another like a tile here uh, mm -hmm. that just shows like those two data points that we talked like you, you suggested, George. Uh, so I can definitely experiment with that and let, let you guys know uh, how that turns out. I think that would be okay, uh, great, uh, but uh, Ray, do you have any, I don't know, short snippets or uh, three or four bullets how to use Bitergia correctly? Because I tried once or two, but uh, I couldn't get the right results. Uh, 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 okay, yeah. To the GitLab, uh, yeah, the documentation isn't necessarily complete. I mean, we do have like a number of, uh, um, uh, we had like, I can't remember whether, I believe we had three tutorial sessions so far with Baturgia, they've been recorded. 
uh, you could probably watch just watch the first one and get most of the information. Uh, mm -hmm. So let me send out like a, a, a link to, or let me try to find it actually. Go to the YouTube channel right now and find the videos. I don't know if I have a specific channel. Maybe it's this one, not sure, but uh, eight months let me see. Oh no, this is in the uh, Yeah, that's way. that's it. So that's the first one. So yeah, I mean those so I've uploaded all the like a Biturja training channels on 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 YouTube. So yeah, that would be a good place to start. I mean, you can skip through like a lot of the basic ones, but um, mm -hmm. yeah, feel free to get started and let me know if you have, if you get stuck or have any questions. So. Yeah, I think I think I was having trouble uh, um, excluding uh, group uh, group authors. I mean, uh, people that were not in the GitLab or group, but uh, yeah, I can try it out and let you know. But yeah, the syntax is not uh, intuitive. Like I can't remember what David was trying to do here, uh, but you can look at things like is not, or you can like exclude things up here, but I can find the syntax uh, and I can forward them on to you. Mm -hmm. I'll, I, sh I, I can send you like examples of how to exclude. Like, I mean, for example, if I want to exclude the core team, I'll exclude like eight people. Uh, from the query. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I, I can create that query and then once I do, I can, um, I'll I'll have to look at the documentations, or or it may be an issue that I file with Detergia, which and they gave me the hint on how to do it. Like once I created, I can uh, send you guys an example. So okay, anything else, George, on that topic or? Not on my side, I don't know, Vitaly, okay. Jacobo. I completely agree with you. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. There's... I don't have anything to, to add. <laughs> There's your feedback. So. Thank you very much. <laughs> cool. Uh, yeah, I think that takes us to the end of the topics. I mean, were there any other topics that uh, you don't want to talk about or, or discuss. Uh, we, uh, we have about you know, 15 minutes left if, uh, if you want to discuss anything. If not, we can end the call early and uh, give you guys a chance to grab some coffee if, if you're in Europe. So. All right, so it looks like there's nothing else. We'll we'll wrap things up and uh, I'll talk to you guys again next month, if not sooner. Have a nice day. All right, thanks, thanks everybody. Thanks. All right, bye. bye. Thank you.